When I first found out that my mother was going to edit the Southampton Review, frankly, I was scared because she's just too nice. She's just too nice of a person. I thought this literary review would be filled with every Tom, Dick, and Harry uh, with a limerick or a bodice-ripping story. But in fact, this is just who she is. She is an editor. The subject is Luann Walker. Well, she's violent, as you know. Uh, carries a Glock. Maybe you don't know that. She has a Glock in her purse. I have seen her shoot squirrels and swans on the streets. She's a tramp. Uh, she was known as a tramp in, at Harvard. Uh, she'd walk by and people would say, there's Luann, that tramp Luann. She's a conniver, particularly with TSR, because she makes you think that you've done something worthwhile for TSR, where she puts the whole thing together and has created something equal to the best literary magazines ever, and quite crazily. The only really important thing I've done for our periodical, which we all love so much and which so well represents our program, is to invite Luann Walker uh, to be its editor, and uh, she has taken it from there. Bob Reeves is the most amazing publisher ever. He just lets me do what I want to do most of the time. I mean, this really is my dream job. There can't be a better job anywhere. It's a beautiful literary magazine, and it's it's amazing to see the you know the belly band, the first issue, and the progression. I've, I really admire Luann's vision for TSR. I've seen every issue so far, I've read every issue so far, and the juxtaposition of fiction and non-fiction and poetry and visual art is, is incredible. The South Haven Review, uh, you know, I think it began as kind of a uh, kind of a printed version of the conference. And it's expanded from that as it should. Well, it's very hard to get published when you're st starting out. And one of the amazing things about Southampton has uh, been the Southampton Review. Uh, I think uh, the first chapter of my book was published first in the Southampton Review. What the issues have in common it, if, is that they bring in the work of students and accomplished writers. Major Pettigrew has been uh, over six months on the bestseller list. And I think the Southampton Review is a prime example of a sort of diverse content, but with a guiding overall unification. The interplay between the illustrations and the writing uh, is sort of playful. Better perhaps visually than any other magazine I've ever seen except maybe Grand Street at its prime. She's a special editor in the sense that I think it's largely intuitive. Uh, she makes a magazine the way some composers make a song. It's, a, it's really about interpreting uh, that everything in you disappears and you become what's important in the other person. Luann read my novel Children and Fire when it was in progress and uh, was such an incredible line by line editor. I can't quite explain to Luann. She, she is, uh, except you can't deny her anything she wants. She's just kind of apologetic, uh, uh, self effacing. Uh, Dynamo. Luann is uh, editor-in-chief, manages the publisher very well because we have these meetings in which Luann knows very much what uh, she wants uh, me to say. And so our meetings become this very interesting orchestrated conversation in which she leads me to say what she wants me to say. And, and sometimes I'm quick on, on the take and I will say it right away. Sometimes it takes longer. And sometimes we will have meetings together and I say, Luann, we really need to cut this short. Can you just tell me what you want me to say so I can say it and we can uh, move on. Whenever she says, I know I'm the logjam here, or I know I'm the one holding this up, it really means, watch out, we're actually doing something else. She gave me an assignment, she gave me a deadline, she wouldn't give me a word count, and I embarked on this project, and I have to say that you always remember your first, I guess. And she was gentle with me, and she was incredibly intelligent and sensitive. Her you know, most familiar chant is, what would you like me to do? What can I do for you? She stepped into my office and said, what can I do for you? <laughs> 
And jokingly, I pointed to a gigantic file of um, uh, submissions to the Southampton Review that are as yet unread. I'm so sorry, contributors. I'll get to them, I promise. So, you know, I said, oh, you could read all of these poems. And there were like five inches of poems. And so she took the folder. She was going to do it. And I was like, no, no. And I ran after her in the hall. And we were tussling over this folder of poems. No, I'm reading them. No, I'm, not. I'm the poetry editor. I should read them. And we ended up in, both of us, a characteristic Luann gesture, which is, no, no, you're the best. No, you're the best. No, I love you. Uh, the other thing to say about Luann that uh, you may not know, although everyone in our program knows, is that she is really our most popular teacher. And we have so many people who are vying for that title. I have occasionally tried to be the most beloved teacher, and I'm not, I'm somewhere in the top ten, I think. But, uh, and Jules Pfeiffer imagines himself the most popular teacher. I know Roger rather insufferably imagined himself the the, the most beloved teacher, but Luann, every year, you, it's just, I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's, if she's supplying her students with drugs, I don't know. Luann taught a thesis, uh, advanced writing workshop, a thesis workshop in Manhattan. I get so much out of teaching. I, I just love going in the classroom, I love being there. The word of mouth on that class was so great. I get ideas from what the students are saying, or I understand a work even better. The wait list among MFA program regulars was ridiculous. She's like a sculptor who can see like these ineffable things. You could tell she really liked something because her hands would start moving. She'd get super excited and she'd start rocking in her chair a little bit. The cult of Luann. It's like if there's an, you would hand in a piece to her and there would be an absence. And you might just have a vague, unnameable sense of absence. You'd say something and then she'd just wait, and you'd feel like you have to fill the space, so you say something else. And she would know right away what the absence is, why it was there, and like how to address it. And all of a sudden it would all fall into place, and I'd be like, that is, that, that's it. That's exactly what she means. Her ability to just look at the whole raw product and see behind it when you yourself hadn't even seen behind it yet. That's why she's in such demand. She's good. She's good. She's very good. A wonderful tradition with the Southampton Review is uh, when it is uh, printed and on the wonderful day when it is delivered uh, to campus, uh, I have arranged, I arranged for the first carton to be delivered uh, to Luann's office and there she enters and in the privacy of her office she is free to open the first carton and fondle the first issue. Yes, we'd like to give her her private time with the first box of TSR. But the door definitely gets closed and pretty sure it gets locked. And the other members of our team, we stand quietly outside and occasionally hearing these murmurs of, these ecstatic murmurs coming from within. Door is closed, the noises, you hear things tumble, you'll hear sudden cry. Try not to listen to the door. But I haven't heard anything. I don't know about the cooing. Sounds like a, a car of clowns is in that office. I hear her singing to us sometimes, you know, like a little baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Southampton Review is a labor of love, and that's one of the reasons uh, it has been so successful. How many ways do we love Luann? Lou, like, can we count them? She's, I mean, signing with her parents, speaking French with uh, the, our students. Um, you know, she's uh, amazingly conversant. And she's been nothing but gracious and nothing but kind to, to really an almost, I would have to say, irritating degree. She's the best. Yeah, she's great. She's like the person with the limitless heart. She just keeps taking on stuff and she never gets to a point where she, it's too much. She is brilliant. She's beautiful. We don't hate her for that though. She is the single best friend a person could have. I so admire her and I feel very, very lucky that she's my friend. It doesn't get any easier than working with Luann. Unless you're trying to be just as nice as she is, then it, it's, it's war.